Hey Barney's guitarists, uh, a couple of ideas on uh, strumming through your children. Um, it starts with F on A, which if I've got uh, capo up there on the third fret, can play as D over F sharp. Get your thumb over onto the F sharp, which or the A note really, but it works as an F sharp, in, uh, you know, in the way we think about the chords. It's a G. So here in that strum, there's a low part and a high part, and I'm hearing the drums. If you've got the drums rolling in your head, it can really help you stay in time, it helps you have more groove, and instinctively you start to learn whether you play the low note of the chord or the high note. Uh, particularly on this tune where it starts with a chord which has uh, the third in the bass, uh, the tonic with the third in the bass, D over F sharp, uh, is the voicing we play to cover the F over A chord, uh, speaking in concert. Uh, having separation between the bass note and the chord is really helpful. Um, if it becomes all too run together it's a bit muddy. Uh, the other chords you'll need in uh, with the capo on the third fret, uh, besides D over F sharp and G for the B flat. When it goes to the C, it's an A chord. When it goes to the D minor, it's a B minor seven. So you can play the whole regular B minor seven bar chord. But here's a version that I find uh, gives me enough strings, and it's a bit easier on your hands, and I enjoy playing more. So you play. Um, B, open D string, second finger on what would be uh, kind of like thinking the A note, and then the D note. Okay, so yeah. Now if you occasionally jangle the high E string, that's not terrible, it turns into more like a B minor 11, which can sound kind of uh, cool, uh, and usually works. So there you've got another option that's not going to end up break in your hand by the time you've finished doing all the bar chords. I think the real thing to um, concentrate on is being able to play those um, changing bass notes. But again, in as we're all trying to do, um, being aware of the numbers, this is one on three to four. Does that back and forth in the verse before it goes to the five. Then it goes to the six minor. In the pre-chorus down to the four. Back to the one, then to the five, then to the four, to the six minor, to the one, and the five. Then the chorus one, on the three to four, one, and again. Before it goes to the six, four, five. Uh, and the other thing is, uh, when it goes to the pre-chorus number two, the order of the chords shuffles around to build some variation, and the usual arrangement is uh, that the band kind of chugs along hitting on eighth notes. So you want to go to the four chord. What, uh, what's the notes there? Uh, do, 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 do. And playing it in the other key, reading it in concert pitch. So, uh, that's where it is, so it's a chug. Okay, so with those, note the left hand um, tight and release, tight and release, so like. Uh, and they're all down straight. 
strokes. There's no up ones in there, just to try and keep those notes super staccato. Help the bands feel really tight. The drums obviously on there, like dun, dun, gun, 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 to really build the sense of tension and it releases when you get to the chorus, which is a nice feel. So hopefully that gives you some ideas to run with team. Uh, all the best.